Hey guys, what is up? Today, I'm not gonna be doing the talking, but I'm going to have Alexis in the hot seat and she's gonna be telling you some tips and tricks for going into early childhood education. So here she is. education major I'm at the University of Cincinnati right now my first semester I took three three education classes I took intro to ed which is just pretty much the history of education which was not the most interesting thing I've ever experienced I took educational technology which again that one was not interesting at all it was also a three hour long class so the one that I did enjoy that I took last semester was foundations in early childhood education and that one I got to go work in the preschool that they have on campus here and I got to be in a classroom and observe and like interact with the kids and that was the coolest thing for me I think because I got to like see how a teacher would run a classroom in a preschool setting which was fun to see and those kids were adorable so it was fun. And I also learned a lot about the field of early childhood education through that class. So that one was definitely my favorite one that I took last semester. This semester, my education classes are educational psychology and special ed 101, which it's like individuals with exceptionalities. For both of those classes, I'm actually in a school this semester. So I don't really like go to those classes right now. Right now I'm tutoring a third grader for the I don't even know what tests they are, honestly. They haven't taken some tests because I, I could argue. <laughs> that could be a whole nother video <laughs> about testing third graders <laughs> like they're robots, but that'll be a different video. <laughs> so that I'm tutoring her in English, English reading and math. That's what I do in like place of my educational psychology class for now until March when they take the test. And then I'm gonna go be back in the like back on campus at UC taking a class and pretty much in that class what we talk about is how you apply like psychology in the field of education. That's what we did the first couple weeks and then we started going to the school. Um, the individuals with exceptionalities which is the special ed, ed class, um, it's exactly what it sounds like. You learn about the different like disabilities that children have and you learn how you work with them and how you would like if you had to experience it in the classroom like what you would have to do in that situation. It is a four-year program. They have like you can get it's an early childhood something. An early childhood degree where you can it's like for people that want to work in like a daycare or something but they want a college degree and you can get it's like birth to age five or something whereas the early childhood license which is what I'm going into you get licensed to be like an actual teacher from pre-k to third grade and then if you want to which I wouldn't want to just because I like working with younger kids but you can get an endorsement where you can teach fourth and fifth grade too if that was something that you'd be interested in I just personally am not oh. <laughs> last semester I took chemistry and then <laughs> Oh yeah, this semester I have physics and English and then math. That was, yeah, last semester I took a stats class and then this one, this semester I'm taking a foundations in quantitative reasoning. They're not hard math classes, it's just, I'm not a math person at all, so. It's usually easier than my high school math classes, so <laughs> that's nice. End of your junior year here is when you start going into like your student teaching, but I think you don't go as frequently but then when you get into your senior year, you're there like every day. Like you go every day for the school day and you're there like student teaching. Most licensing programs are the same, most because you're getting a license for your state. So you have to like, they pretty much all have to follow like at least some what of the same program guidelines. So I'm sure you end up student teaching the same amount of time either way, so. Last semester for my intro to ed, class we did have to do like field experience but it wasn't like built into the class so we had to make our own time unless it's required by a class you don't have to like 
volunteer or get a job working in like a school or a daycare, you don't have to, but it's probably better that you do. Like this summer I'm getting a job where I'm gonna be tutoring um, kids that are in a school district over from my one back at home and I'm gonna be like tutoring them and working with them and that just gives you more like field experience and you just get like more stuff to put on your resume basically saying like I work this many hours with children and that will make you stand the principal of the school you're trying to work at isn't going to really care that much that you worked at like JC Penney for like four years so if you but if they see that you worked in a school like and you were actually experiencing like working with kids and stuff that's going to make you stand out compared to someone who didn't take advantage of that opportunity so you don't have to but it's definitely a good idea to work, get a job or volunteer, do anything that involves working with like kids in the classroom because it'll definitely help you in the long run. Don't let what other people say bother you. I sometimes get angry when people try to tell me that, you know, oh education is such an easy major and stuff like it. It's not, it's not hard but it's not easy either. Like you do have to put in a lot of work um, my best advice is to literally take advantage of any of the field experience that you get. Once you find out that you love doing it and you get to see like, wow, I'm going to get to do this for the rest of my life. Like it's the coolest thing. So take advantage of like all the field experience you get. Take advantage of like any opportunities you get to work with kids or anything. That's my best advice. Stay organized, like keep on top of all your stuff. That's just a college tip in general though. So, take advantage of everything that you're learning. Take advantage of all the experience you're gonna get and just have fun with it. If you're dreading going to field experience, you should probably just not be in education at all. Cause if you're not gonna enjoy being in the classroom, then you probably should look into a different major because <laughs> that's gonna be your whole life. That's gonna be every day that you are in a classroom with those kids and you don't get to just say like, oh, I don't wanna be there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Alexis. For a few weeks or so, we'll probably be doing another video about what it's like to be a film major and we might have Riley sit down and talk about what it's like to be a, what's her major right now? Exploratory. <laughs> Exploratory major. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you on Wednesday, bye.